Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be looking at 2023's macroeconomics question number two. This is from set two. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up that total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts with the country of Norlandia, and we are in short run equilibrium where the actual inflation rate is higher than the expected inflation rate. We're going to start off by drawing a long run and short run Phillips curve, and we're going to label the current short run equilibrium as point X. For that first point, we're going to draw out our short run Phillips curve with the unemployment rate on the X axis and the inflation rate on the Y axis. The short run Phillips curve is downward sloping and labeled SRPC, and that's your first point. The second point comes from adding the long run Phillips curve, and you should have the natural rate of unemployment or NRU below that long run Phillips curve, and having point X above the intersection between the two curves, but along the short run curve. That indicates we have a higher than expected inflation rate, and that expected inflation rate is found at the intersection between those two curves, so we are above that point, and we have a lower than the natural rate level of unemployment as well. And if you have that there, you get your second point on this graph. For part B, we have to know that Norlandia has a ample reserve system, and we're going to specify a monetary policy action that the central bank of Norlandia would take to bring the inflation rate closer to the expected rate of inflation. Since we are trying to lower inflation, we have to remember that to decrease inflation, we need to increase interest rates. That's going to reduce gross investment, shift aggregate demand to the left, and lower the price level in the ASAD model, which will lower the inflation rate in the Phillips curve model. In order to increase interest rates, you simply have to identify increasing interest on reserves or increasing administered rates. Either one of those answers will get you a point. Just remember, changes in the discount rate, the reserve requirement, or open market operations will not be correct because those are not policy tools used in an ample reserve system. For part C, we are told that Norlandia has a flexible exchange rate. Based solely on the effect of the monetary policy that we just identified, will there be an increase, decrease, or no change in the flow of international financial capital into Norlandia? And we have to explain. In order to answer this question, it's helpful to remember that financial capital flows out of countries with low interest rates and into countries with high interest rates. And that's because foreign investors seek high interest rates. So we're going to say increase because the higher interest rate means foreign investors seeking high interest rates will buy interest bearing assets in Norlandia. And if you have an answer something like that, you're going to get yourself your next point. For part D, we have to say what will happen to the international value of Norlandia's currency as a result of our answer in part C. Since we just identified Norlandia as having an inflow of financial capital, that means foreign investors are going to have to demand currency from Norlandia in order to buy those interest bearing assets. That means that the currency of Norlandia is going to appreciate or increase in value because the financial capital inflow will cause an increase in the demand for Norlandia's currency. Or you could also say that the supply will decrease. And an explanation something like that is going to get you a point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2023 macroeconomics exam set one, question number two. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.